Hi everyone, welcome to our review of the new 2024 CCM Access XF Pro equipment. Uh, this is the first set in the UK, uh, so I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the guys at CCM Hockey UK uh, for hooking us up with this so that we can review it, test it out and let you all know what we think about it. Um, so as always, we'll be splitting this into two parts. So part one, we'll be looking at the leg pads, part two, we'll be talking about the blocker and the catcher. And we'll just break down any new features from the from the equipment and what stayed the same, what we like, and uh, just let you know our general thoughts. Uh, so with that being said, we'll crack on with the leg pads. So the XF Pro is the evolution of the Axis 2s from a couple of years ago, uh, which if you remember back to those videos, or if you haven't seen them, go and check them out. You'll know that that was by far my most favorite pad of the time. Um, it was very, very close to perfect in my opinion. Um, so if the XF Pro is anything near that, then we've got a really good leg pad on our hands. Um, CCM have only made a few little tweaks to this leg pad because um, as we've just mentioned, the Axis 2s are really, really good. Um, so they've just made some sort of subtle improvements, mainly to sort of the weight of the leg pad, uh, which was one thing that needed to be done. The Axis 2s were a little bit on the heavy side. So hopefully these have come down a little bit. Um, but the XF Pros are there. They're designed to enhance the speed of movement, um, enhance butterfly stability, and to improve rebound control. So these are all things that are already really good in the Axis 2s. Um, so there wasn't much improvement that needed to be made in these areas. Um, but if it have been improved, then that's only going to make the leg pad even better. Um, so CCM have kept the Litex core um, on the XF Pros, which is there to reduce weight and to maintain the shape of the leg pad. Um, so as you see there, they come with a, a pre-curved core which I absolutely love. I think it's like a great shape to have as a, as a stock option for a leg pad. And if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I'm begging other certain companies to, to offer the same for their leg pads instead of the, the straight ironing board type design that we're, we're seeing more and more of these days. Um, but I love the pre-curved design because when you're in butterfly, it keeps that nice sort of curved seal on the ice there that closes the butterfly well, but it doesn't sort of so, like you don't sacrifice the stiffness at the top of the leg pad there it's still very very stiff and sturdy there um so really really glad to see that uh ccm have added the infinite power rebound foam um which is a new sort of um pad surface inside the uh the material there they already had the max rebound plus which popped rebounds off for miles um you could send rebounds clear out of the zone with that so if they've improved that then i can only see us going to the far end of the ice with our rebounds um so I'm really, really excited to try that on the ice just to see what difference that's made there. Um, and basically all it does is the foam, it just redirects the energy that's put into the pad surface from puck impact. So just absorbs and sends the puck back out in the other direction, um, sometimes quite a long way. So I'm really, really excited to try that. Um, as we move on to the inside, um, keeping with the uh, sort of the sliding surface, CCM have kept the dynamic response system, the DRS Pro, uh, which is the integrated, um, knee wing that's integrated with the pad surface there which creates a very very stiff and stable knee block uh, so that when you're in butterfly it keeps the pad surface at 90 degrees nice and perpendicular to the ice there um, so there's not so much sort of rolling of the pad you can't sort of roll off the knee block and open the pad surface and have pucks squeaking underneath so this was probably my favorite feature of the axis 2s a couple of years ago so i'm really really glad that they've uh, they've sort of built upon it on the xf pros there as we move down uh, CCM have kept the uh, the quick motion strap system on here. Um, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Um, they've added a, the 3D texture that you can see from the knee block there. They've added that into the inside of the strapping system just to create some, some grip and stability on the lower half of the leg there so the leg doesn't rotate too much inside the leg pad. You don't sort of lose the straps. They don't sort of come loose or like you don't lose the stability from the lower half of the leg pad. So big, big fan of that. Um, on the sliding surface itself, um, CCM have the new uh, speed channel design on the uh, the calf area here. And basically, it's just a, a tapered uh, calf plate there. So I don't know if the camera will pick that up. But we've got a slight taper to the calf plate there. And that's just there to reduce friction. Um, it reduces the surface area of the leg pad on the ice. So naturally, it's going to help you slide a bit quicker. Um, very, very similar to what CCM have done with the shadows this year. Um, just sort of tapered that off just to make it so there's less pad on the ice so there's less friction hopefully it should assist with you sliding quicker on the ice and finally as we move down as you see them have these hybrid toe ties so more and more leg pads now are moving to just a bungee system whereas ccm have added sort of solid laces there just normal skate lace but with the bungee velcro system there so you still get the uh 
the stability and the uh, the stiff pull of the real laces. If you don't like the elasticity of the bungees there, if you find that's too stretchy, then you've got these solid laces, but you've got the convenience of the uh, the Velcro and elastic straps at the top there just to allow you just to put your leg pads on a bit quicker. So I'm quite excited to try these. It's a bit of a, a small feature, a bit of a novel one, but I'm excited to try it just to see you know what difference it makes over the full bungee system that I currently use. Um, so yeah, just to summarize, um, I think they're a great looking leg pad. I'm really excited to try them on the ice. Um, the graphics themselves, I think they're probably the best that CCM have put out in years. Um, you can make some great designs on the customizer with this, or if you're feeling extra fancy, you can go for all out custom option and create your own graphics. And we might have some news on that in the next sort of three or four weeks. So watch this space. Uh, but overall, I'm super impressed with the XF Pro leg pads. I'm uh, really excited to try them on the ice. We'll be doing a little bit of filming with these on the ice in the next couple of weeks which we'll bring to you as soon as it's ready um but for now yeah that's it if you have any uh, questions or comments about the xf pro leg pads please leave them in the comments or drop us a message and please come back for part two where we talk about the blocker and the catcher